Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Amasid and today we are opening up 10 sets of Something Dark, a brand new divination card with 3.19. We're just rolling out the bangers here, just the bangers, all the new div cards, give me them all. Uh, and this one is, you know, for those of you who are uh, watchers of the channel, I am a heist enjoyer, you know this one is special to my heart. I love me some fully revealed blueprints. Now, what does this card do? It does exactly what it says it does. It gives you a blueprint, area level 83 that's fully revealed. Now, exactly the same as this note here blueprints that drop on your maps have 10 percent chance to be fully revealed they drop where all the rooms are available so you get even the special escape routes uh everything all the rooms all the wings etc so what are we trying to hit here now the best case scenario is going to be a four wing unusual gems blueprint with either a lot of currency nodes or a lot of currency rooms rather or a lot of uh divination card rooms stuff like that that's what we're trying to hit now what do these sell for now this will be interesting so there's a bit of a caveat here but we'll walk through it so what are we trying to hit the best thing like i said is going to be the unusual gems four wing that's just standard going to be the best that'll sell from anywhere from like 60 to 120 ca i think depending but if you have a really good one it might you know sell for more theoretically uh, i mean the rest are kind of in like the 30 to 50 c range depending um usually you get you know decent blueprints um but uh we'll see i never opened this card before but i just mean usually when they drop they're at least decent right um so we'll see but what we're gonna do here is that's not really as fun to me it's just to sell the blueprints so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna open these up and then we are gonna run these live on stream see how they do and that'll be the total now what did this cost me here these were just about 500 chaos for these 10 sets uh i just had a lot of trouble getting people to respond and frankly there's not that many of these cards out there it's a little bit rare um but we're going to run all 10 uh, blueprints on stream and we'll see how we do. So we have to basically be at the current uh, divine prices is roughly like 2.5 to 3. Excuse me. Uh, like two, Yeah, 2.5 to 3 divines. So that's what we're trying to make back here when we run this all, all well and good. So basically, we just need one really good unusual gems VP and we can make that money back. Let's go. Anyway, let's hand these things in. Let's see how we do. First one is Enchanted Armaments. Okay. That's probably like the standard. I mean, it's just, this is a four wing, so it's not, you know, it's better than a three wing, but uh, not bad, right? That's kind of like a, like a standard result. Unusual gems three wing. Okay, nice. Unusual gems. We'll, we'll kind of do them like this, if I remember. Trinkets. We're hitting the, the complete spectrum here. Now, this is a, not a good one. It's got five, uh, it's got five div card ones, but it's three wing and it has no currency. That's not great. Enchanted armaments again. Okay. No replicas yet. Unusual gems four wing. Nice. Nice. That's that's pretty much best case scenario. Uh, just the blueprint itself could be a little better, of course. Enchanted Armaments three wing. Replica. Our first replica. Not bad. I mean, it's got four, four currency and four div card. That's not bad. Replica again. Ooh, this is not. I mean, four wing with five currency and six div card. That's not bad. Replica again. This one. This one's not great. It is four wing, which is nice, but otherwise not great. And last but not least is trinkets and this one it's got nine currency okay so uh let's go ahead and we'll run these on stream so we'll do a quick cut here and uh let's see how we do all in all This seems like stonks to me, boys. I don't know. Replica Abysses, Replica Paradoxia. These might be overstated a little bit. Okay. Let's just look at the hard facts here. Let's look at the hard facts. Total value. Nope, this way. So, in stack decks alone, it's money. Remember those are for 3C, but it doesn't mean they're worth 3C. People actually buy them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think those are worth. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the hard facts here, but things that I know are valuable. So, like... 620 c in stack decks that's that's already profit that's already about it a little under a div in profit we get 124 straight chaos we got two replica conquerors which are actually sell yeah this will actually sell for 30 c a pop no question mortal ignorance we got how many of those two is that right mortal ignorance is 28 c no way where is that wow it is it is 28 c okay so Primer Grading Lens, another 50C. These are all good. I think it's pretty reasonable to say, I'm going to shave 500C off the top. Do you guys think that's fair? 
500 C off the top, and we'll just call it an even 1,000 C. I think that's reasonable. I think it's reasonable. I, I, I'm obviously I could go through and I could manually delete these one by one, but that's not worth it. I'm gonna call it before the div card opening about a thousand C, five hundred C profit. That's fair. Sad. Sad.